the goal directed life purpose, the goal directed life purity, the seemingly touchy subject of our generation, the subject that many preach with their lips, preaching heavy words, words they somehow can never carry through the motion of their actions, the non verbal conversation of purity. The conversation that summons upon all the redeemed youth to be living monuments of Yahweh's holy presence for. For the temple of God is to be found without any fingerprints of idols. The temple of Yahweh is to be found undefiled. Undefiled by foreign idols, the nonverbal conversation, you see. It is you and I that have been challenged. Challenged to preach word through the emotion of our actions so that our lives may be like braille for the blind. We have been challenged. Challenged to be humble yet as bold as Queen Esther. We have been challenged to be as loyal as Ruth to the covenant of our royal rebirth. We have been challenged to flee youthful passions and so seek to keep the temple of Yahweh in a clean and holy state, more like how Joseph did, we have been challenged. Challenged to be ready in and out of season, more like Timothy. To flee youthful passions in order to keep the temple of Yahweh in a clean and holy state. To pursue, being ex to pursue exemplifying righteousness, faith, Love and peace, along with all who call to the Lord with a pure heart, the nonverbal conversation of purity. You see, although we are more privileged than most, we have never been called to be better than any other, but to be better than the person we were yesterday. Because perhaps, just perhaps the testimony of our brothers and sisters is rooted in the caption, in the bold caption of our authentic purity today. We have been called challenged, challenged, challenged. We have been challenged to be a generation that pursues purity, even in this day and age. Called to catch the fire, that tongue of purity, the seemingly touchy subject for our generation, the, the subject you can really never attest to if the subject that we can only attest to when we remain rooted in the first word ever spoken when God said, let there be and so there was. The nonverbal conversation of purity. He who calls us is holy, hence he requires us, he calls us to be holy as he is holy, yet this testimony, this testimony can never be attested to unless we remain rooted in the first word ever spoken, the nonverbal conversation of salvation.